the biggest scouting event in Cornwall for years, deserved a big name send off. Cue the chief scout, Bear Grylls, and celebrity author David Williams. I think we're going on a zip wire. In true scouting style, they were up for action and adventure. Checked out those all important knots. <laughs> there we go. Great. Saw how scouts have a head for raising money for charity. There you go. And did a lot of meeting and greeting. The purpose of their 45 minute whistle stop tour to inspire youngsters. Yeah, it's an amazing experience. Anyone wants to see the head of scouts and such an iconic character. Get all your stuff in your bag. And say thanks to the Jamboree's 200 volunteers. After all, scouting relies on people like Debbie. To help Thomas, maybe, because he might need a bit of help rolling his sleeping bag up and putting it in the bag. A year ago, she helped start the Boscastle Buzzards, which has 18 scouts. She wants other adults to help out. Yeah, the kids are missing out otherwise. We've got a bunch of kids here that have had a fantastic week, and if we weren't here, they wouldn't be here, because there would have been nobody else to run the troop. While there are over half a million scouts in the movement, the waiting list nationally is almost 38,000. So, you know, the more parents get involved, the more kids can take off the waiting list. So that's really my message. Come and sign up, especially if you're a busy person. You know, Dutch at Cambridge, super busy, still manage to find time to volunteer. So that's the sort of spirit we need. You're inspiration. The more, the merrier. So the scouts can go from strength to strength. John Henderson, BBC Spotlight, at the Kerno Jamboree near Bodmin.